I'm adjusting the valve clearance on my Vetus M310 inboard diesel engine. And the first step is to take off the rocker cover. So you take off the air breather tube right here, which I've already done. There are, there's one uh, 13 millimeter bolt and two 12 millimeter nuts to take off. This is where the oil intake is. You can just lift the rocker cover after you remove the bolt and the two nuts. You can lift the rocker cover off and make sure you don't lose any of the parts. I put them down in a tray. And here's the rocker cover with the oil intake and the two uh, bolts. And put it upside down here. Look at this uh, gasket while I have it out. Make sure everything's all right. Now, looking at the uh, engine, you can see the uh, the intake and exhaust valves. It's a three-cylinder engine, so there's an intake and exhaust valve for each of the three cylinders. The intake uh, valve is the first one you see. The exhaust is the second. Because it's a three-cylinder engine, it rotates uh, 240 degrees before you get the full uh, dead center compression stroke for each cylinder. So this engine had been rebuilt and painted yellow, and I had to chip off with a screwdriver the um, paint on the, the crankshaft pulley to find the marks. After I found the marks, I... Um, and I used, an, unfortunately, an adjustable wrench to turn the engine over. After I found the marks, uh, then I, you can see I've written numbers on here to correspond to each of the cylinders. So, first of all, there's the number one. <laughs> it took a little effort to turn that over. There's the top dead center for the number one cylinder. And right next to it, there are three injection timing marks. So I'm going to line up the top dead center mark with the mark on the engine. And in this position, the number one cylinder then is at uh, top dead center, full compression. Both the valves are up. The number two cylinder, the exhaust valve, is depressed. And on the number three cylinder, the, the intake valve is depressed, you can see. So now what you do is take a feeler gauge, and it's set to 0.25 millimeters. And put the feeler gauge between the rocker arm and the valve top. And it should just fit snugly in there which each of these does. I've already adjusted the engine. So if it does need to be adjusted, there is an, a lock nut that's a 14 millimeter and an adjustment screw. So you can loosen the lock nut. I used a 14 millimeter socket with an extension. And then once you've loosened it, the lock nut, you can loosen it a, a little bit, then use a short screwdriver to, to address the adjustment screw. I did it while I had the feeler gauge in there. So here's the feeler gauge and you really need like three hands to do this. Put the feeler gauge in and now I can't even get it in. So you screw down. Make sure you push the rocker arm down and loosen it up to open up the gap. See if I can get this in now. Here's the feeler gauge. Okay now it fits inside. It has the proper clearance. So at that clearance, what I want to do is tighten the adjustment screw and then tight the, tighten the locking nut. As I said, I've, I've done this previously, so they've, they're all properly adjusted right now. And uh, in, in each case, make sure the lock, rocker arm is as open as it can be because they can stick a little bit closed. And then tighten the, the locking nut, the lock nut, with your 14 millimeter wrench. That was the first cylinder dead, uh, dead center on the first cylinder. So now, because it's a three cylinder engine, what you must do is turn the engine clockwise 240 degrees to get top dead center on the number three cylinder. So 
here's my adjustable wrench again. I've already marked it. So here it goes. So this is 60 degrees to the number two marking. And then there's 120 to the number three marking. And I'm gonna line that up, make sure that's aligned. And one way I did this while I was searching for these marks is I did use an ordinary protractor. And if you put an ordinary protractor on the top dead center and set the arm to the 120 degree mark, if you have a painted uh, pulley as I did, it'll give you a good idea where you should find the mark. I actually did find the marks on the crankshaft pulley. So now the number three uh, valve, that's top dead center now on the number three valves, that cylinder. So again, I'm going to stick the feeler gauge in there, make sure those are properly adjusted, which they are, since I've already adjusted them. And again, they're just snug. It's uh, 0.25 millimeters or uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.01, one one hundredth of an inch or uh, uh, 20, 0.25 millimeters. So, and then you will turn the, the uh, pulley another, another 240 degrees past the number one top dead center, which is 60 degrees. This is a tough one. And then you get to line up this mark. And then your number two valves, number two cylinder is at top dead center. And you should be able to adjust then the valve clearance on the number two cylinder so that you have the proper clearance on each. Uh, I suggest you go through and, and rotate the engine several times and check the adjustments on each one to make sure that the rocker arms are in the right position and that the valve clearance is properly adjusted. So I, next I will start the engine to see if it's worked out.